Hi everyone, in this lecture we're going to talk about the model view template pattern. Just about every modern web framework and that includes Python frameworks, web frameworks follow the same basic pattern called model view template or model template view. You can see this um, as a set of best practices for how to organize our code. Now, there are three components within this pattern. So we have the models, we have the templates, and the, we have the views. And each one of these components has its own clear responsibility. Uh, now, in uh, some uh, in some frameworks, this pattern is also called model view uh, controller or MVC, which is exactly the same thing by another name. In the world of Python web frameworks, people are just used to calling it MTV or MVT instead of MVC. Now, within this pattern, we have the model, the view, and the template. We have already talked about the models the views, but we are yet to discuss templates. Now, to make our application follow the MVT pattern, we have to add templates, and then we need to make all three components work together. Now, what are templates? Templates are the components that are responsible for displaying our data to a user. Now, in a web application, displaying data means creating a web page. So, we'll use these templates to, to generate HTML, that the browser can display. In this lecture, we will going, we are going to take a look at how we can create these temp uh, templates and call them from the views functions, and how to pass data that we want to show from this template to the from the view function to the template. Now, so far, what we have done with our view function is to just return very static view functions that return strings like my name is Muslim Hilali or welcome to the meeting planner application. Now this is not something that you're going to do in a real world application. You would want to create uh, uh, beautiful pages with HTML and CSS and that HTML can become quite large and complex. So therefore if we put all the HTML within this simple quote in the HTTP response is going to become very much unreadable. That's why we are going to create another directory and we're going to call it templates and within there we're going to call we're going to create an HTML web page and we're going to provide the all the HTML code in there. So let's move on. Now uh, the same as with um, Jeng Flask Django is going to expect all our web pages to be contained within a specific, specifically named folder. So within the website application, I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it templates. Make sure it is templates exactly. Now it is considered a best practice to not throw around all of, um, to not throw casually all of our uh, HTML pages or templates within this templates folder. But the best practice is to create another folder by the name of the app and provide all the HTML templates in there. So I'm just going to say website. Now within the website, I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to call it home.html. Now, so uh, for now, it is a simple web page, and I'm just going to give it the name of our application because this this is the home. So I'm going to say the meeting planner application application H1 uh, meeting planner. There we go. So now that after we have created our template. What we need to do is we need to go ahead and we need to assign it to our views, uh, to our view function as well. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the views. In here, uh, first off, we need to import the render from the Django shortcuts, which it has already done that. Now this render function is going to act in the same way as the render template. Uh, function or method that we talked about when we were talking about Flask, right? So it's going to do basically the same thing. Now, instead of returning an HTTP response, we are going to return a web page. So I'm going to say render 
The first argument is going to be the request, and I'm going to talk about that in a couple of seconds. And then we need to provide the path for our, for our template. Now, the path for the template is if I go into websites, it is within the templates, within the website, and here is the home. So, Django by default expects a templates folder, right? So we don't, we do not have to provide the name templates. But where is it within the templates? It is within the website folder, and from there, what is the name of the file? It is home.html. Let's save that. Now, the first argument of this is request. Um, which is also the parameter that we have passed in here. Now, this is an object. This request is an object that holds all kinds of information about the request that the browser is going to send to the server, like cookies, HTTP headers, and more. Right now, we, we are not going to use it except to pass it through to the templates. And we know that the second argument is, again, it is just our template, and it... it uh, the fact that it expects a templates folder, we don't uh, specify that we do not need to provide the templates name there. So where is it within the templates folder? It's, it's within the website folder. What is the name of the file? It is home.html. Now at the moment, this file it just has a, a, a title. We are going to add on more to this because this is the home page. It should show um, like all the meetings and then the option to add a new meeting or and the link to go to uh, the meeting rooms that we have. We are going to do that later. So I'm just going to save it. After that, I'm going to go to the browser. And now in here, what do we see? We see the meeting planner. And where is this coming from? So this is an H1. If I try to inspect it, just put it on the bottom. Go to elements, go to body. This is an H1. Where is it coming from? It is coming from this home.html. Now it is returning, our view function is returning an, an HTML template, or just you can just call it a template. That's it for this lecture. See you in the next one.